As always on Fridays, we like to begin with bringing in one of our friends, Tayana Edwards from Taste and See, to give us ideas on different things we can do maybe on the weekend. It works out because we know you are always busy. How are you? Doing great. Like you said, busy finding great things here in the area for people to explore and for people to do. Yeah, and normally you're showing us good food too, but we have you covered there. So this is a, <laughs> a, a little uh, a fun place without food necessarily, but where are you taking to us today? No, exactly. Just a little bit of a break from a food, yeah. but still fun things to do. So the Tampa Bay History Center is a great gem along the Riverwalk in Tam downtown Tampa. Now, this is a spot where you can go to see the history of Florida and modern day Tampa Bay as well. So this is a great family friendly thing to check out during the weekend. History Center is a, a regional history museum. You know, we tell the story of uh, the Tampa Bay area going back thousands of years. The History Center has three floors of uh, immersive exhibits. You can step into a cigar store that you might have found in Ybor City in the 1920s. You can ride along with a cattle drive. You can go below deck of a pirate ship. So the first thing that visitors will encounter is our Florida's First People exhibit. So we're talking about uh, native groups who uh, lived on the shores of Tampa Bay thousands of years ago. When you travel up to the next floor, you're going to see more of a modern look of Florida and the Tampa Bay area. So we're talking about uh, shipping and the cattle industry. We're talking about uh, war stories and conflicts that uh, affected the Tampa Bay area. When you go up to our fourth floor, you know, you'll find our treasure seekers exhibit. When we opened the History Center, you know, a lot of people asked, well, where the, where's the story of uh, pirates? So the Treasure Seekers Gallery opened about two years ago. This area talks about conquistadors, uh, explorers, pirates who traveled around uh, the state of Florida during the age of sail. I do love that place. So they are open. That's good to know. Yes, absolutely. So of course they've instituted some uh, safety protocols. So you have to get your tickets online in advance, but if you forget, they have a QR code that you can actually scan in the lobby to be able to purchase oh. your tickets when you get there. So they've, they've implemented some really cool things just to keep it safe and keep you it open. You know what my favorite thing about that museum is? I hope it's still there. I'll have to get Manny on the phone if it's not they have rocking chairs in one of the exhibits. Oh. I am a rocker. I love my rocking chairs. So I remember going there. We actually took my mother-in-law there and I found the rocking chair and I sat back and had a good old time. She read all the plaques and I rocked. It was a win-win. I love it. I'm going to right out there too. Don't they have the cafe right there? Is that yes. still open or? Yes, it is. So this is really a spot where you can spend the full day. You can go check out Columbia. You can go walk along the river walk. And like I said, it's three floors of temporary and permanent exhibits. So there are two temporary exhibits they have right now is the Sunshine State Showdown. So if you're into wrestling, you can see Tampa's wrestling roots oh, at yeah. that exhibit. Exactly. And then they also have the shape we're in, which highlights rare and um, early maps of Florida. So if you're really into kind of that map, into maps and kind of learning a little bit more about the history of the state, you can check that yeah. out as well. You know, Tayan, it's so nice to have you do this because I remember we lived here for a good, I want to say, three years before we went. Carly, I mean, you're born and raised, you know, yeah. in the area. And it's kind of like one of those sometimes people forget that that's in our backyard. So I like being able to get a preview from you. Exactly. I mean, I've lived here for 10 plus years and I this was my first time getting to go. And it's yeah. great because it's a cool spot for locals and tourists alike. Did yeah. you see my rocking chair? For kid. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a cool. And no, I did not. So now I feel like I need to go back through. I, I must not have walked through as, as thoroughly. I, I need to find those rocking chairs. <laughs> well, and that is the thing. You should probably go more than once because you can't. I don't think you can get it all in one day anyways. So Exactly. Between that between that and the temporary exhibits too, there's always something yeah. new. But if you were looking for great things to check out this weekend or anytime here in the Tampa Bay area, make sure to check out tasteandseetampabay.com. I think when they were on a porch, 
I think it's like, is there like an example of a cracker house maybe? I think oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, there was a little uh, pioneer house on one of the floors. So maybe it was over mm-hmm. there. I know they've had to um, uh, kind of change a few of the exhibits just for safety reasons. So oh. I'm not sure. Maybe it was over there. Mm. I got to go. Gonna I'm going to write her name on it now. <laughs> <laughs> reserved, reserved for Natalie Taylor. 